Washing our hands. Yeah, Did you make a mess already? No, we wash yeah. our hands before every cooking oh. segment. That's oh. our thing. Christina it's touched me. Her hands were clammy. She said no, because she washed them. So I had to wash them again. So. We had to wash them again because we would like to be clean in the kitchen. Well, here, right. Here to make one of her very favorite Greek recipes from her beautiful cookbook is Debbie Metnopoulos. Hello, Debbie. Yeah. Hey, guys. Debbie, your cookbook, when I say it's beautiful, it really is. Oh, I, that means a lot coming from you. Well, the, it happens the other Truly. day. I just happened to run across the book again. I was looking for things I put. I took it out and I was looking at the pictures Aww. and they're really, really beautiful. My husband took those yeah. photos. That makes me feel Aww. so great. I went to Greece with a photographer and left with a husband. Yes, yeah, she <laughs> and and baby. Now she has a baby. Look, Look at and that. yeah, that's what like their traditional Greek salad. That's called just uh uh salata. And that's pliguri salad right there. That's the um the bulgur wheat, which is absolutely beautiful and delicious and really light and fresh for yes. summer. I can taste the and lemon and olive oil. That's right fakes now. salad. You know, okay. Greeks were not, yeah, which is lentils. <laughs> okay. Lentils. Fakes. Lentils, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, it's okay. fakes. Oh, it's <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> okay. You people are really, that's, really not. Hey, it's Greek. To, it's all Greek to me. It's all Greek to you. Okay. And although we are known for our yeah. salads and our, our really great, uh, you know, main courses, my favorite thing about Greek cuisine. Are the desserts? Yes. Yeah. I mean, and is that why you're dressed like a push-up today? <laughs> I am. I decided to dress as a sherbet popsicle. It's nothing. To do. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna ask everybody to please bring it in, and we're gonna you do. do. By the way, I loved those when I was a kid. Oh, I love those. And it's nothing to do with Greek cuisine, but, but the now you're gonna eat rice pudding. Oh my okay. That's right. It's called oh, risogalo. Risogalo. Thank you. Okay, it's a traditional dish. It's, yeah. it's not in this cookbook, yeah. but it's gonna be in the next one. And basically, it's really simple, you guys. But why is this? Dish so special to you growing up? Oh, because I remember my grandmother making this for me mm. when I was a little girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you know, your olfactory sense is, mm. your olfactory sense is one of, or actually the mm. largest sense for memory. Right. And every time I smell this, it just reminds me of being Greece with my yeah, yeah. And I was named and after her, Vespina. We all have olfactory senses. Yeah. Kim Douglas has oh. older. Oh, I heard the old factory That's senses. Huge. Not old. Yeah. That's a I, do you so oh, pay attention to him? Yeah, he missed that. Vespina, what a beautiful yeah. name. <laughs> Vespina. I love that. Oh, look. Okay. Well, let's get oh, started, shall we? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's very simple. It's five ingredients. Mm. It's so easy. And the best thing about Greek food, and I think a lot of Mediterranean food, and this has been proven that it's, you know, the best diet on the planet, right. the Mediterranean diet, it's so good for you, it's because it's whole foods. It's very farm to table. All this is is milk, a little vanilla, oh, rice, sugar, and some cinnamon. That's mm. really it and at the end of the day I mean if you were in Greece making this you would yeah. probably go in the backyard and get goat milk yeah. from your goat. Oh, yeah. I'm not kidding. Could have sent Kim out in the backyard milk. to milk the cow well, that we had on Exactly. The did, did you use any cow or goat? No there's no goat milk, milk in this. This okay. is no. okay. No goats were harmed no. in making a marisogalo <laughs> or even milked for that matter. <laughs> this is all cow milk. So what you do is you get a cup of rice, mm. two cups of water and you bring it to a boil, make sure the rice is cooked. What about kind of rice, by the way, are we talking here? Well, you can use arborio rice, which is the traditional rice that you use for um, risotto. For risotto. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to, you can just use white rice and just add some um, cornstarch that's diluted to thicken it up, okay. because the risotto rice gets thick very quickly. Okay. Then you just add your milk slowly. Christina, would oh. you help um, stir this? Uh, I'm having memories of my oh, sorry, wait, 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 don't Greek even... islands on a honeymoon. No, hold no, on, you're not hold supposed on. To... Wow. You're supposed to wait. Mm. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Let me garnish the thing first. Okay. Okay. There. <laughs> okay. okay, here. I Come quit and everybody me. was enjoying it. I had to taste it. Okay, so I help you. So I'll do like I my mom you. does. You okay. just little bit. Turn it. Don't stir it. Turn it. Turn it. We did, a, it. We did, a, we did a segment about baby food and how bad it tastes and whatnot. Remember when we did that uh, segment? Yeah, and I won. Remember? Because I made the good baby food. This yeah. Is this something you could introduce to a Baby. She loves this oh part. She really does love this. And listen, my husband and I have been very conscious of not giving her any sort of sweets, mm -hmm. you know, and anything that's not natural yeah, and whole. Change. No, I mean, <laughs> honestly, we have. Sorry. But this, I'm sorry. Give up early. <laughs> he feels okay with this because it is all natural. It's nothing you can you can pronounce every single ingredient. It's not like but you know, it's you good for you. Could you in Scotland they do this and they put raisins in it? Yep. What were you just so, talking about? Did you see? Oh, I put allowed? raisin and our Greek pudding oh, well, and rice pudding. And I am a real that. purist when oh, it comes to this. You. I like to, you can put rose water, you can cut up a oh. lemon and put a lemon wedge in it. Oh. Or I you can put raisins in it. Raisins. You can, I mean, some people make it real dirty. They'll put oh, chocolate chips I, in oh there. Oh my God. But, but I like dirty to keep rice it, pudding. Yeah, I like to keep it really traditional. And this, by the way, you'll continue to turn it. <laughs> or stir it if until you're it here in America thick. until it gets thick. So you bring it to a boil and then you bring it down again to a very low heat until it thickens up. 
And then here. here's our Any final product. You add sugar. some sugar. Oh, wow. Add some sugar in there, Christina. The, oh, that is the here? No, this over is here. Cornstarch, over here. Right? That's the diluted cornstarch. Go ahead, add it in there. And, and you continue some, to turn. And vanilla. The vanilla. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I know. Ooh, that was a backhanded pour. I know. Yeah. I'm ambidextrous. I can do You know, you can also yeah, add yeah. eggs. Yes, eggs I, we add eggs. Color. What would that do? It, all, it thickens it up and makes it creamier. We, yeah. we do eggs. We do three oh, do? eggs in ours. You could add butter. Yeah. Does it cook? It cooks in there then. Oh, yeah. yeah there you go. It, it has a creamier uh, consistency. Consistency. Sure. It depends on what region of Greece that you're in. You know, she come. Yeah. That's it. From northern Greece. We're from right. northern Greece. And this is do you how think they people do over in Greece are cooking American food? No. They no. don't have to. I mean, they're not interested. there is no. incredible. No. <laughs> uh, you know what? 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 <laughs> what are they? No. Christina likes it cold. I, she doesn't want me to open the refrigerator. Why? Because. Oh! Uh, okay. What uh, happened to our other thing? No, it's Greek dancing? <laughs> it's Greek music? I like it cold. She likes it hot. And I like to have it cold. And we had, oh, we we had, had a fight. fight. Yes, we had a fight yeah, over this. She fight. won't let me eat it cold. <laughs> because it's so much better warm. Warm, it's like a custard. Cold, it's like a flan. Debbie, oh. what is the traditional way to eat it, though? Warm or cold? Ooh. The oh, traditional way to eat it is right off the stove with warm. rice. With, oh. Yeah, warm. But I mean, you can raisins. keep, you know, listen, uh, Greek people are known to stop by your house unannounced. It's a very Greek thing. <laughs> so you always true. want to have a dessert or something to serve them because it would be rude if you didn't have something for them. So people make risogalo a lot in the wintertime and they keep it in their refrigerator so they can serve it like a flan when mm -hmm. someone comes are over. You, with really you put the right spoon it, in no, it. No, I have dinner with a shovel. It's so good. <laughs>